today's video it's all about last week's video one of my viewers a hard to pronounce name Aditya Mehindale I think that's how you say it anyway his opening statement was I doubt if the medal you got is mu metal I hope I pronounced that right and then he finishes off and says can you confirm that the metal you use does actually contain about 70% nickel well no I can't because what I did I got the information off Wikipedia and if you have a look at the bottom where it says about hard drives it's got a little footnote where it says citation needed so obviously I looked up what that citation means and someone has disputed what's actually been written in there so it may not have nickel in it at all so what I've got to do with this video I've got to examine that metal and see if it's got nickel in it and try other high nickel content metals and see exactly how they react to the test that I'm going to put them to here are two nickel alloys that I know with a hundred percent certainty are nickel alloys this one is Monel metal I used to change these gaskets in a place where I worked hundreds of them and like I said I know for certainty that they are nickel alloys they are Monel metal which is 65 percent to 70 percent nickel and the rest is copper and a little bit of iron and the second one is nickel shot this one here is a nickel alloy it's in small little um, balls so you can drop it in and it dissolves easy into cast iron I purchased this from a foundry many years ago and it's very expensive so this is the first test for nickel I know that nickel is mildly magnetic not strongly magnetic so if I put a magnet over to it it's very weakly magnetic and the same with the ball a little bit stronger but it's mildly magnetic to give you a comparison between a mildly magnetic material and strongly magnetic this is a transformer lamination as you can see it's very strongly magnetic this is the second test what it is if you grind high content nickel alloys they produce very little or no sparks well watch this here is a close up of the grind marks and that prepares it for the second test here is the second grinding test I'll use the nickel shot for safety reasons I've got to put it inside something that will hold it when I grind it here are the grind marks on the nickel shot as you can see both specimens produce virtually no sparks whatsoever now I'll show you what the sparks look like when you grind a piece of mild steel this is a piece of metal from the hard drive which is supposed to have a high nickel content and I'll grind that and we'll see what happens as you can see with that test these two here are high nickel alloys 
produce very little sparks and when you go over to here that's mild steel and that came out of the hard drive both produce a lot of sparks but we've got one more test to try out all these alloys I will put out side and let the rain get on them and we'll see if they rust that's another good test for it well the results are in I left it out in the rain last night and I had a look this morning and I'm really really surprised have a look at that it's rusty everywhere where I've ground it and there's no corrosion whatsoever where it hasn't been ground which suggests it's been plated possibly with nickel or with chromium so nickel alloys I don't think corrode like that but we'll show you the other results as well I know this metal from the hard drive rusts but is it strongly magnetic or not <clears throat> yes it's very strongly magnetic this is the mild steel piece that I ground it's not quite as rusty but it has rusted here is the Monel metal gasket it shows no rusting where I've ground it or on any other surface either so it shows that high nickel content alloys just do not rust here is the high content nickel shot that I'll put out in the rain you can see where I've ground it there's no rust or corrosion and on the surface there's no rust whatsoever I would like to know with 100% certainty if this is not mu metal and what I'd like to ask my subscribers or the viewers is if you've got access to any kind of laboratory equipment that will analyze metals and alloys to see what's in them if you could get that done and examine some pieces like that and see exactly what that metal is I had high hopes for the hard drive as a good source of nickel alloy but that seems to be not the case now so I'd like to ask the viewers and subscribers if you've got a source for nickel please put it in the comments section and it might be a good source for everyone else to have a look to find a nickel alloy so one last thing so why did the castings and the wedge test turn out so good especially when I was trying to break the ingots well it seems that some cast irons might be um, suitable for this metal and it doesn't seem to affect it up to 1% but also adding steel to cast iron slightly lowers the carbon content and therefore raises the strength so I might have got lucky this time who knows